in a world where everything can be generated with AI, what is actually valuable in the end? When a blog can be generated, you can get ChatGB to literally answer everything. Sora is coming out. If you're a business or a marketer or you rely on Google or SEO to have a business, it's going to change, but it's also going to be okay. In November of 2022, ChatGPT changed everything. They show the world that there's another way to find answers and interact with technology other than just searching into Google. And it pushed Google to finally update their search engine from that iconic list of blue links that we've literally had forever. So in May 2023, Google started testing their new version of search called Search Generative Experience. It was only within Google Labs and only available to those in the United States who opted in until now. Hi, I'm Carrie. I've been in marketing for over 10 years and I've led three different startups. And for the last five years, I ran my own YouTube marketing agency called Group Hugs. The term search generative experience may sound like some novelty upgrade for a Pixel tablet, but I think it's going to change everything to do with how we search. And like I said, really look up information and find businesses. But the real question is, what does the new search generative experience even look like? And how do we think it could affect businesses and web traffic? Well, this is where things get really interesting. So the fundamental change that SGE is gonna have, instead of the giant list of blue links and then the ads at the top, Google users can immediately receive a well-presented AI-generated answer without ever having to click onto another website. With SGE, now, when you type in a question or keyword into Google, depending on what you want to know, the top part of the page is going to be a generative answer from AI with additional follow-up questions sometimes that you can click on or you know you can chat with it directly with another follow-up question. So you know how like whenever you type in a question now, there's a few other questions with little snippets. So they're still recommending those questions, but now integrated in chat too. And you'll also notice the AI answers also have a carousel of a few trusted links. It's not endless, it's just a few. And if you search for something product related, it will have a carousel of products. And then depending on what you're looking for, there could be a row of ads underneath or even maybe one day integrated into the AI answers. And underneath that, you still see a few links and then YouTube videos, or you may see ads on the side. You know, they're currently testing this. There's no like standard format yet. And these are just some of the things that we've noticed. Okay. So this naturally brings up two questions. How will this affect businesses and websites? Well, from what we've seen so far, Google SGE is expected to reduce organic traffic significantly to websites. And that's because searchers are now, you know, gonna be able to get a directly in Google AI generated answer. Since SGE is still in testing, we really can't know the exact implications yet, but it is reasonable to assume that we should expect to see a 30% decrease, which is what happened when they launched snippets. But there is a bright side. There is a massive, big bright side, especially for those of you who are not currently in the top few blue links. That's because AI generated answers and the links that it shows do not match what normally shows up in the organic results 94% of the time. What this means is there's a massive opportunity for those of you who are not currently ranking in Google to implement new strategies to rank. So now instead of focusing on SEO, I want you to focus on generative engine optimization. The reason I even started sharing and talking about GEO is because after ChatGPT came out last year, I was talking with a friend and I realized that everything is going to change. And over a year, ago in April of 2023 you can see text messages here my brain was kind of blowing up on itself because of this information I realized there was gonna be a v2 the internet is not gonna stay the same and it took me a year to actually talk about it I was scared of scaring businesses but now that I've been testing and I know that not only YouTube but there's a few at GEO practices that you can do to help your business thrive you know, I'm here to share all of that. Google's intention isn't to mess things up for everyone. Like they honestly are trying to keep traffic so that other platforms don't take it and they're just evolving with the times. And remember, it is in Google's best interest to protect their advertisers, AKA businesses. And the reason I know this is because in 2023 alone, Google made $175 billion from search 
alone. And they definitely rely on this revenue because search revenue makes up 57% of their total revenue and over 73% of their total ad revenue. So this is like so important for Google. So my tip is when you're looking and it, it, testing out SGE, you need to write down all of the questions that you see, all the follow-up questions that it suggests, and you're gonna make content that is much more niche and specific to those longer tail keywords. You can do this in an FAQ section on your site or at, make a blog, right? Or make a sh tiny short blog for each. There, there, and there's quite a few other things that GEO cares about a lot more than the normal Google algorithm. And I'm really excited to share that in my next video. But overall, if you're a business owner or you have a website or a blog and you want to rank in the new search, go and do your research. I did mention this earlier. Take an hour, take two hours, take as much time as you need to search everything that your potential customer could be searching and log it and meet me in that next video. And just like SEO, we had to test lots of different strategies to see what worked and what actually helped us rank. Like the reason we have a whole checklist of SEO tips and you know best practices is because we've had 20 years to test it out and know it. So now there is something new. And GEO's goal is literally the same as SEO, which is to get you know in the top spots. And even though they're still currently in testing, there's one clue that just came out that can give us an idea of what's to come. So in March of 2024, Google made an update to their algorithm that demoted spammy sites and sites with unoriginal content that had a lot of AI generated, just regurgitated type content. When I think of this, I think of recipe blogs that have like way too many ads and you have to scroll for five minutes in order to get to the the ingredient list and I've already seen online that this has impacted a ton of creators and blogs and some people are freaking out the new SGE may prioritize new insights and new information like something actually novel fun fact one of every five searches index YouTube videos including DuckDuckGo and Bing and a trend that I predict will continue is more and more original video being integrated into the search experience. You see that YouTube videos, long form, are all over different searches. And I've also seen YouTube shorts and TikToks show up on Google. Content is everything and video is the king of that. I'm actually releasing a full free course here on YouTube, video by video with every step of growing a channel, finding the right keywords, uploading, how to rank on Google, how to rank on YouTube search. I really believe that video is the most future-proof, AI-proof, original human content and insight based on experiences that cannot be replicated and that can only be had as a human. But in order for this to work, you have to start now. So if you want to future-proof your business and build a brand that lasts, definitely subscribe. There's a link in the description to sign up for our email list. That way you know when our course comes out, we have a GEO ebook coming out, a ton of free resources to help you. And if you want to partner with Group Hugs for us to grow your channel, make your long form content and short form content for you. Let's hop on a call. There's a Calendly link in the description and let's chat to see if we are a good fit for you. Please let me know if you have any questions. My next video on how to optimize for GEO is coming out soon. I'm excited to see you for our future videos. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.